everyone. This video is going to cover the structure of the heart and its internal anatomy, the blood flow through the heart, and the conduction system of the heart. Um, this is a lot. I am putting it on YouTube in hopes that somebody is going to learn something from this. And before I get started um, and get into the details of this diagram that I'm going to show and talk about, it's um, I want to share with you guys five facts um, just something interesting things about the heart first is that having an orgasm three times a week cuts um, in half the likelihood of death um, from coronary heart number two 500,000 American women die each year from heart disease and uh, three there is a frog called a red spotted knot frog uh, who can turn its cells back in time to build up new heart muscle, which is kind of interesting. Um, four, a scientist found that a horse heart rate will mirror those of human subjects touching them. So that's kind of uh, something, other, thi other things that are interesting about the heart um, that scientists people didn't know before and now we're learning increasingly. The last thing I want to tell um, or share with you guys is that um, if you don't if you don't already know, a big heart is a is a bad heart. Um, so having a big enlarged heart can lead to heart failure and cause dilated cardiomyopathy. And that's it for the intro. And I hope you guys um, like the main body of this this video. Thanks. Okay, so normally the heart is divided into four separate chamber chambers, and the four chambers are two atria and two ventricles. And uh, usually you will see blue as the color of low oxygen blood, which returns to the heart from the body. So it's been it's been already used, so it's low oxygen, and it's going to the heart, and it's then comes to the heart and then it's pumped to the lungs to receive more oxygen right and normally you will see red color for the oxygenated blood which will go then from the lungs to the heart and is going to be from there pumped out to the rest of the body to supply the tissues with oxygen and nutrients right so that's the general summation just a general summary of what the heart does you know, it circulates the blood all throughout your body. So now um, on this diagram, you can see that the blood returning from the upper part of the body, say your arms and your head, is going to be delivered into the right atrium, which is right here. This is your right atrium. And, and the blood comes in here from your arms and head using a vein called the superior vena cava now where is a superior vena cava which is right here superior vena cava is superior so it's on top it's above the right atrium this is the superior vena cava and this is also one of the body's two largest veins while blood returning from the lower parts of the body say your stomach and legs is delivered to the right atrium by inferior vena cava where is in inferior vena cava in inferior vena cava is right here it's right in it's inferior to the right atrium okay so that is the right side and this is the inferior vena cava now the inferior vena cava it's the other major vein in your body now let's talk about the contraction of the right atrium well contraction of the right atrium in each cardiac cycle forces blood into the right ventricle which is right here this is the right ventricle blood comes in from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava into the right 
atrium and then contraction of the right atrium will force the blood downwards to the right ventricle right over here in this cavity you can see that, that there is a valve right here and it goes through the valve into the right ventricle so notice that as each chamber of the heart contracts it pushes a volume of blood into a ventricle or out into some somewhere else in a artery or something and the artery just in case you didn't know is usually colored red in textbooks but also know that it doesn't always carry oxygenated blood an artery say can be defined by saying that it is a tube that carries blood away from the heart and veins are tubes that carry blood towards the heart and that's why these superior vena cava and inferior vena cava are veins and not arteries they're not called arteries they're veins and they're carrying blood towards the heart whereas artery arteries are red and they're carrying blood away from the heart into the body now back to the flow from right atrium to the right ventricle how does this contraction of the right atrium occur well you have to think back to action potentials and most people know of action potentials in the neurons remember that when a neuron reaches a certain threshold boom it fires an action potential which causes your normal muscle to contract that's how you move your muscles and that's how you decide to to move different parts of your body well the same thing is happening here to contract your heart so cardiac action potentials where do they originate they originate in something called the sinoatrial node which is located in in the right atrial wall this is the right atrial right so in this wall inside is the sinoatrial node you can't I've I've drawn a dot over here it's it's I think it's um orange but if you can't see it just know that you cannot see a sinoatrial node because it is inside the right atrial wall and these sinoatrial nodes have cells that are modified myocytes so they're muscle cells and they're not neurons and they do not contract but they are responsible for setting the sinus rhythm or the beating of the heart the heart rhythm these sinoatrial node cells are also known as the pace making cells of the heart now let's talk more about the conduction system of the heart so I'm gonna talk here and pay attention to the importance of the right atrium and the sinoatrial node because as I said it sets the heart rate the heart rhythm for the entire heart the pacemaker cells in the sinoatrial node of the right atrium determine the firing rate of the entire heart so now how do they do that well they make a pacemaker potential of the heart now what does that mean well that means that the pacemaker current that causes the right atrium to contract is slowly built up in the pacemaker sectional 